How do you do, ladies and gentlemen, and boys and girls, and children, and men and women, and people, and my friends? I am Professor Julius Sumner Miller, and physics is my business, and I want to say more about this business of electrostatics because it has some interesting history. There was, in the early days of the American Republic, a man by the name of Benjamin Franklin who played around with the protection of buildings by providing them with lightning rods, lightning arrestors. So here we may imagine a New England barn, and he put up a pointed rod with very good connection into the ground with an iron rod he had driven into wet earth. He discovered, you know, with his classical kite experiment, that sharp points had some special virtue for lightning because when a cloud went by and it had some charge distribution, as I suggest here, electrons were called up from the earth and a discharge took place way above the barn so the building was protected. Now, he wrote a letter to his colleagues in England who are men of science suggesting that they explore the virtue of pointed rods in the matter of lightning effects. Now, there was some trouble because there were certain people in England who didn't like the Yankees and the people at the Royal Society and the Royal Institution were ordered not to consider the virtue of sharp points but rather the virtue of spheres which of course have no virtue at all. Now, there's much more to this story, which I have not narrated, and I urge you to look it up. It's enchanting to think about. So here I have a spherical electrode, and here a pointed electrode, and if I connected these to some instrument which provided me with electric charge or current here, and I put a candle flame here, see another experiment which we must imagine, and which you could indeed set up at home, we would find that the candle flame behaves in one way with respect to the pointed conductor and in another way with respect to the sphere. So you see, there are interesting things in this matter of lightning and electric discharge. Commentary, a matter of safety. Should you ever find yourself on a flat, great flat plain or field and a lightning storm arises, don't ever, don't ever seek refuge uh, under a tree. Don't ever do that. Because if you were here under this tree in a lightning storm, this would be the highest place on the plane, and a cloud coming by, highly charged, would be very dangerous. So, best thing, open field, lie down flat, and wait for it to pass by.